Welcome back to the channel everybody. Thanks for hanging out. So today, doing something a little different of course. We're heading down to the Gym and Mineral Show here in Billings. It's supposed to be a nice big show. All sorts of fancy stuff there, I guess. So, we'll find out when we get there. But I'm mainly heading down. I gotta get some more slabs to make some more lures for uh, you know, the holiday season coming up. Gotta have plenty of those bad boys ready. And they always have a lot of really cool carvings and whatnot. We gotta go check out. Gotta see if we can get us a turtle. Good old turtle carving, you know. And this year, good old Theo Callison, the famous guy from YouTube, you know. The guy that does stuff with all the sticks and rocks. All that good stuff. He's got a booth down there this year. So we'll swing by, say hi, maybe pick up a few things from him. Help support the community, you know. Gotta help the local rock hounds out. So I know he got a hold of some really good tiger eye lately. And that stuff makes some pretty cool lures. So I really want to get a hold of some of that stuff for sure. And if he doesn't have any, I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's some around there somewhere. Fortunately, it's probably going to be really loud there. So I'm most likely going to have to do like a voiceover for it. So that way you don't have like hundreds of people talking in the background. We'll see how it goes. It is loud ass shitty vehicles. Got my rock hounding shirt on too. Gotta take that bad boy with you when you go. So we're just gonna head to the show, see how it goes, see if I can get some filming in there, show some some of the rocks and whatnot, as long as people allow me to. And gotta see if we can get us a uh, good old Signed rock slab from Theo before he gets too famous. It's all right. We'll see everybody down at the show. So I decided to check out some of the display cases before I make it into the main part of the show, and I gotta show everyone this thing. Look at this massive agate right here. That's insane. You got another agate right here. Yeah, maybe like a 15 pounder or something like that. I think that's kind of agatized wood or something, but look at that big old chunk of Montana agate. That is just nuts. It's got a huge bot right in the middle of it. 63 and a half pounds this beast is. So that's what dreams are made of. Just a few display cases over, you got this one. This is just insane. Look at all these Bear Canyon agates. I was happy just to find a couple when I went out there. These guys got, they got them all, man. No wonder why it's hard to find them. These things are just crazy. So many different patterns on these things. And they got like a couple hundred of them in here, I swear. Just nuts. Makes me want to get back out to the Bear Canyon as soon as I can. And then look at these huge ones right here. I was kind of under the impression that uh, usually your smaller ones had the fortifications so nicely. But these big ones, they are, they're not holding back on the fortifications. And all these little ones with just phenomenal patterns. Uh, gotta get a hold of these people, see if they'll take me out there. Show me where the good spots are, apparently. That is just crazy. I'd be okay with that little suitcase full right there in the back. Or the other one. It's a very beautiful collection. I got one more display case I want to show. Check out all these beautiful Montana agates. Now these are some high quality Montana stuff. And you can see how they're polished. It's like a big window into the rock. I want to learn how to polish like this. Don't know if I could do it on the flat lap, but I picked out a couple, and I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. But just look at how amazing these are. Some very beautifully polished rocks. Some pretty cool pieces of jewelry as well. Safe to say, I'm pretty jealous of the collection. I'll get there one day. Now, we made our way into the main part of the show, right at the door you got fish fossils they know how to lure me in here with their damn fish fossils 
so many of them too, and they're pretty good prices, really. Ten bucks for that little guy, eighteen for the one in the back. It's not bad, really, at all. That one's weird. It's weird black material. That looks like the exact opposite of it. Here's a much bigger version of that. I'll show you how huge this one is compared to my hand. Big old slab. Definitely going to pick up some fish fossils. And of course, I thought I'd show off some pretty cool petrified wood. All of it looks like it's been tumbled pretty damn well. I've done a few pieces myself that are full, and they do turn out really nice when you do them right. But apparently this is a local business, they're trying to sell their business, but I'm not in the market. <laughs> Just thought I'd show it off, it's also pretty cool petrified wood, collected from eastern Montana. Very awesome stuff. And of course, you know, they always got their carvings of hearts and all that good stuff. They're pretty cool and all, don't get me wrong. I don't plan on buying any, but I'll show them off real fast. They are cool. All sorts of different material it looks like they got. The Septarian ones, I think, are the coolest, in my opinion. Looks like two whirlpools in there. Yeah, it's got a double heart. <laughs> yeah. The Schwartz Canyon one with the black and white, which is very unusual in color. But it's an unusual piece of Schwartz Canyon. It's a good sized chunk. Yeah, and then I slice it up into a bunch of slices. Oh, yeah. If it survives the show. <laughs> Oh yeah, check out that piece right there. That's cool. Oh, look at this one. See that egg that I cut was so similar to that right there. That's cool. I don't know if it's Wiggins or if it's uh, Tom Miner Basin. Some of them think it's Tom Miner Basin, but I don't, I don't know. Some some new collection on that. Right. Yeah. And of course, if you're at the Montana Rock Show, you're gonna find a lot of Montana rocks, slabs, polished pieces. Of course, you might come back to that bin later to get a couple little, couple little beauties. But I know there's a couple slabs in here I'm gonna have to pick up for some good old rock lures. Which ones? I don't know yet. Gotta make my rounds, check everything out first. Then I'll be back to uh, hand select some beautiful future lures. Cause this guy, he has all sorts of stuff. And pretty fair prices I'd say. And. The guy watches the channel so he knows what I do with the, the slabs and all that stuff. But check out these big old polished agate slabs in the back right here. Some huge slabs right there. All of them look like they're polished pretty damn good too. The lighting wasn't helping out very much with the, the camera and all, but I still wanted to show everyone. Definitely gonna come back here and grab me a, a few slabs for the good old lures. Like these guys, check that out. Focus, you bastard. There. Yeah, check that one out. That would make some pretty cool lures. Don't know how well the material will hold up, but I might be back for one of these guys. Yo, know, this big old slab right here caught my eye, but there is something else even cooler. We got a turtle. Good old turtle carving. Maybe back for that guy here soon. We'll see. 162 bucks for that thing? Look at this bad boy.
Jeez, look at the amethyst crystals in this chunk. Yeah. There's a Buddha sitting in that beast. Awesome. Do all of these do it, or just some of them? Just some of them. Okay. Um, all this type. This is ruby and kyanite. Now this uh, blue sodalite. It does too. All right. Did you carve all of these? No, I carved <laughs> them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Take a look at the agates in this display case. These things are insane. They're so fancy. Look at all these things. Man, these guys got polished agate nodules for days. Just keeps going and going. The booth even wraps around on the other side. They're all pretty fancy looking agates, I'd say. Very beautiful stuff. Little spendy. They're all really cool though, don't get me wrong. I'm just not in the market to spend that much on a rock. So here's some more stuff from that same booth. It just keeps going. They got plenty of material to sell. I wonder if they find it all themselves or if they buy it. I have no idea. Yeah, like I said, their display area just goes for days. They got a bunch of stuff. So I finally made it over to Theo's booth. Here's the elusive Theo Kellison now. I told everyone I'm going to have you sign an agate slab for me. Uh, he's so famous, I got to do it, guys. Got to do it. So, Oh, what's this guy? One of your carvings? This is uh, one of the ones from oh, yes. Maker's Challenge, actually. Yes. The nice owl. Yeah, the Labradorite owl. Ooh, very nice. Just got him on display. <laughs> These are all from the second channel. So. Yeah, a lot going on. Little snow globes you're making, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Filled with quartz crystals. And then the fish fossils. Oh, yeah. You gotta get some fish fossils up in there. Yeah, we gotta get over there. You and I are just long overdue for a collab anyway. It's been a good minute. I know, it has been a while. You have the best of this here so far. Really? Yeah. Thanks, man. Everyone else, I'm like, this isn't cut good. It's not, <laughs> it doesn't have the good Chatoyans. What are you guys doing? <laughs> That's the rock shed for you, man. Yeah. yeah. Plug the rock shed in yeah, the chance I, we get. Absolutely. Right. The rock shed's amazing. <laughs> Oh man, we gotta get it signed professionally. Oh man, here we go. 
I can't read that so you know it's professional. That's how you know it's professional. Oh, that's a high quality. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely going up on the wall. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was all just going to take it. How much is it? Uh, I couldn't forget to come back and get a turtle. But I just wanted to show everyone this big ass turtle right here. It's like 300 bucks for that thing. It's nuts. I think I'll just get one of the little guys. It's getting pretty busy, so I'm about to head out. Just had to come pick up a turtle real fast. So thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day.